Hi family, welcome to the channel once again. My name is Brother Prince family. Uh, today we are going to listen to an amazing sermon from Pastor Chris once again. I believe that uh, this sermon that we are about to listen to, every young person wants to know about this. In this sermon, Pastor Chris educates the church on how to choose the right partner to marry. Marriage is one of the life the steps in life that needs to be carefully uh, done right. So Pastor Chris educate the church on how to choose the right partner for marriage. Before the sermon, please, family, help spread this preaching by clicking the like button. It will help you to recommend the video to so many people out there. Now, at the end of the sermon, I will come for us to discuss what we've learned so far. So God bless you for clicking the like button. Now let us listen to the sermon. Uh, when it comes to um, getting a, a marriage partner, whether you are male or female, it's the same thing. First thing you need to know is that you are a Christian and that whosoever you're going to get married to must be a Christian. So that's the first thing. That person must be a Christian. The second thing is that you require the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now, no matter how that person comes to you, whether recommended by someone else, whether you even saw him in a dream, whatever it was, you need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You need to know, you need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And that requires some training over a period of time learning to listen to the Holy Spirit. So you need to train yourself to listen to the Holy Spirit so you can judge whatever comes to you. Because all the qualities you might want in anybody that you may find recommended in Scripture, for example, because you're passionate, you want someone who's equally passionate about the Gospel, you would want someone who loves God. But there are no permanent ways of judging such things. There have been people who were passionate about God over a period of time and after a while changed their minds. See, so no matter what you find, uh, it, it may come from your human observation or from the testimony of that other person. I mean, in the Bible, we're told that a certain man who was so close to Paul and ministered along with him, his name is Demas, he backslid after a while. And Paul said, Demas has left me, having loved this present world. He loved the world and went into the world. And that has happened to many a Christian. So what you need is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And that's one of the things that being in a, in a church that believes in the living of the Spirit and the Word of God can help you develop. So get yourself developed in the things of God. And those choices will be simple for you. To be as simple as being led in other areas of your life by the Holy Spirit. Wow. Family, this is very powerful. <laughs> wow, Pastor Chris is very powerful. Now, family, he made four main points here that I believe we need to discuss. Uh, now, so he has answered so many questions to every young man out there that is finding someone to marry now first of all before you marry as a christian you have to marry a christian it's a must as a christ said it's a must to marry a christian it is so surprised that you see so many christians marrying from, from a different religion and it is Personally, I don't really get it because it is wrong to marry from a different religion. No, as Christians, you have to marry a Christian. Two, you have to require the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs to guide you on whom to choose as a life partner. Remember, marriage is a life journey and you have to choose the right partner. And the, and the only person that can be your best guide is the Holy Spirit who is going to teach you whom and how to pick the right partner. 
but you have to be sensitive with the Holy Spirit in the family. If you are not sensitive, you might pick a wrong person. So Pastor Chris made mention that even if you see the person in a, in a dream or the, uh, the person was recommended to you and at times they can mention so many good things of the person or oh, the person is humble, he's calm, you know, he loves to pray, loves to sing in church, loves to do the word of God. Those physical features doesn't matter, family. In marriage, ignore mostly the physical because they can be deceptive. The Holy Spirit sees the heart of the person. So the Holy Spirit is the one that can tell you, oh, this person has a good heart, right? So he has the love for me. So this is the right person who will treat you well. This is the right person that can make life easier for you. This is the one I've chosen for you. But at times, as Christians, at times we run to the physical. Oh, the guy is rich, you know. The way the guy talks to me, I think he's the right person. We think. We don't think in, in such serious decisions in life, no. We don't use physicals, you know. Oh, I like the way she is. She's very humble. She works in the house of God. She sings, no. Those things are just physicals. They can change. Family, they can change. Demands or changed was with Paul, but backslided and went to the world. It's possible that the person whom you think is so um, holy can change with time, but the Holy Spirit can rather point you at the right direction. Let's remember, family, let the Holy Spirit be our guide but before that you have to be sensitive to the holy spirit family so this is how to choose a right partner i believe this sermon was a blessing to your family if you're new here click on the like button subscribe and be part of the family i will see you in our next video remember god richly bless you